hello lovely people welcome to another microsoft tips and tricks in this video i will be sharing with you some tips and tricks that you can use to get the most out of your microsoft word microsoft has made it very easy for you to save your word document from word to pdf and sometimes from pdf to word to change your word document from word to pdf you would want to go to file and click on save as choose a name for the document and where you want to save it and select file format under file format you want to scroll down to pdf and hit export for windows users it will say save and hit on export and once that is done your word document will be saved and here is my pdf document saved here and once i open it and as you can see my word document is saved to pdf it will be also very easier for me to convert this back to word um, so most pdf if it is not protected by password or by other security features you can right click on the document and select word document and word document will try to read um, the file and open it back to your file for you and you can make your edits add anything you want to you want to add save it back to pdf or save it back to word all right next tip have you wondered how to sign your document in word it is not that straightforward but it is doable so to sign your signature in word one of the strategies that you can use is to go to the insert button and go to shapes and then under shapes you go to lines you will see that you have different kinds of line here what you're looking for is this last line which is called scribble so you click on it to get the perfect shape, make sure you hold down shift and then try and sign your name. And there you have it. You can actually increase how thick this line is. And to do that, you can do that from the edit shape uh, pane here. You can also determine how the shape looks like. So if something does not look good to you, you can try and adjust it and then there you have it um, if i wanted to increase the thickness one way is to right click and go to format shapes and under format shapes you can increase the thickness and the color of the line so since i want it blue i will let it stay at blue but you can change the color here you can also change how it looks like so if you wanted it in dashes or straight line you can change it here and then if you wanted to change the the width you can increase the width and that will increase the thickness of it and this would likely look like a signature which will make it very easier for you to sign your document i think in today's age most people are concerned about security for their files and document that they create and so if you're wondering how to protect your document in Word, there's an easy way. If you're using Windows, you can actually go to File and then in the top left corner, select Protect Document. If you're using Mac, you want to go to Tools and select Protect Document. And here you can type in the password that you want to use uh, to protect your document. And then you want to select which document you want to protect and how you want to protect it so if i select protect document for you want to authenticate the password you entered again and then choose how you protect your document so you can protect it by 
tracks changes you can protect it by comment and if you don't just want people to read without making any comments to it you can select the read only option if you wanted certain sections of the document to be edited you can actually select that so you can click on forms and if i had section my document i would have been able to choose a section that i want a person to edit or make changes to but i think mostly you want it to be read only so you set it at read only and uh, another thing that you can also do is to remove personal information from this file on on save so anytime you save a document a word document it saves your personal information as part of the document so when you click right click on the document and go to properties you'll be able to see one who created that document or at least what computer was used to create that document and some other details if you want those details to be removed this is where you remove it so once i select this and i click ok and i save it all personal information will be removed from this document so once i click ok my document is protected so anytime someone wants to open my document this is what you're going to get so you would have to enter a password to be able to get access to the document once i enter my password the document will open up for me the next step is microsoft dictate so sometimes you get tired of typing and it's sometimes difficult to kind of put what is in your mind on paper and i know we always sometimes face this challenge one strategy that i use to kind of go beyond that point is to use the dictate option so you'll find the dictate option in the home ribbon and right here once you click on it if you haven't set the permissions you will need to set that and once the permission is set microsoft will be listening to you and trying to type what you speak and so once you're ready you click on the mic button and recording will start and so everything that you begin to say will be typed for you and that is that i think this is pretty much cool that it saves you time and it saves you energy and you are able to flow without any writer's block so try it out you would be amazed what this this speech to test can do so we are in the era of notifications notifications here and there and sometimes you are typing you are working and you get a notification and you click on it and it takes your mind off what you were doing if you are like me and you cannot work through disturbances one of the ways that you can use is to use the focus mode the focus mode will help you zoom in on your microsoft word and cut out notifications so you will find this in the view tab and you will see focus click on it and you have focus you have a full screen of your microsoft document with no notifications or whatsoever you are cut out of the world and everything that you'll be doing will be focused on this document once you want to move out of focus click on the escape button and you will be moved out of the focus mode so did you know you can search for things in microsoft word without actually moving out of microsoft word so assuming i wanted to look out for the meaning of communication i would have to move out of microsoft word and then type communication here and hit enter and read all the definitions that i want to read before heading back to with a smart search option you can easily search for something within microsoft without exiting it so assuming i'm looking for the meaning of say energy i can highlight energy i can right click energy and i can go to smart lookup i believe on windows it will be smart search once i click on smart lookup there you have it all the options that i wanted to see will be open up for me here i can quickly glance through and pick out the ones i want to use uh, so they do have the explore option and the define option so with the define option it gives you definition of that word that you are looking for 
so that you know how you're using your words and whether it fits the context and the structure of your sentences. I believe this is a nifty tool that will help you in your teaching and in your learning. Talking about Smart Lookup, we can also use the translator feature or the translate feature in Microsoft Word. Let's assume that I do not understand this. I, I highlight it and I right click and I go to translate and it will try to look out for the meaning for me. Let's assume that, okay, this is English. We want to translate it to French. We can do that um, or maybe Dutch. So we can do Dutch and we'll try to translate it to Dutch. If we wanted it the other way around, we could switch it using this key here and it will switch it from Dutch to English. So let's assume that I want to insert this into my document. The easiest way you can do is to hit insert and it will insert it for you and it will place the word that we were looking for. Another way to be proactive in your work is to use the templates that Microsoft has generated for you. To get that, if you already open a document, you can go to file and select new from template or you can close out word and the moment you open the word application itself you'll be presented with some templates so let's click on new from template and see what we get these are the templates that we get so you can get the calendar feature can if you're looking at ways to spice up your resume you can look at these options that we have here various resume designs you're looking to write a journal here is also a template for you. You want to create a brochure and you don't know how to go about it. All these are created for you and it makes work quite easy. And for my lovely student, you are creating an APA style paper. It is already formatted for you. If you are looking to create an MLA paper, it is already formatted for you. A cover letter is already here. So let's assume that we want to create a cover letter. We select cover letter and it will open it up for you. It has placeholders that will tell you what goes where and you can just fill it up and you are ready to go. So for instance, I can just type my name here and type my address, my phone number, my email, the date, and then I'll type the recipient's details here and I can change this one. So usually I will say, dear, maybe hiring manager. Um, and then I can tap my letter here and then sign. And talking about template, you can also use the LinkedIn feature to spice up your resume. Some time ago, Microsoft acquired LinkedIn and they have since embedded the LinkedIn into Microsoft Word. So the moment you begin to work on your resume, it detects that this is a resume and it can help you with some tips and tricks. So let's assume I want to look out for inspiration to craft my resume. I can click get started and I can type my role, instructional designer. I can type my industry. Yeah, education and click on see examples and these are examples of resumes that are available that I can adapt for my resume so I can click read more and I can see how the person crafted their resume and be able to use it and you can actually I believe quickly export your resume into LinkedIn so these are a few tips and tricks that you can use to increase your productivity with Word and get things done quickly. Thank you once again for joining me in this quick tip. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you will get notification anytime I post a new video.